Um, at this point, I would like to uh, welcome Secretary Russell Redding uh, from the Department of Agriculture in Pennsylvania uh, to bring us to a close. Um, so Secretary Redding, please take the floor. Hey, Tom, thank you. And uh, good afternoon, everybody. I, I know this has been a long day and I've had the pleasure of the last hour or so to listen in um, and, and learn uh, and certainly uh, want to recognize the good work uh, that each of you are doing. But let, let me uh, begin with a simple thank you. Uh, I think it begins with sort of the vision to you know pull, pull this summit together. Uh, that's critical. Uh, it is co-owned. Uh, my, my takeaway is whether you're in the Department of Environmental Protection, the Chesapeake Bay, or NOAA, uh, the governor's office, or agriculture, or points in between, uh, this issue of environmental literacy is something that uh, each of us uh, have responsibility for, and we can find those connections uh, about where that literacy uh, is adequate or inadequate, and how do we address it. Uh, so I think it's really critical um, that this group uh, you know, came together, but also uh, engaged in this conversation about what we do to change the literacy level. I, I think of generally uh, when it comes to the environment uh, and concerns, but also in our formal uh, education system to make sure that we are reaching our youth, inspiring them as you have today, each other. Uh, and as I listened to the wrap up that popped up on the screen, much like Tom, I uh, was really amazed. I mean, there's some wonderful sort of takeaways uh, that uh, if you just took that snapshot, uh, you have a pretty clear picture of what, uh, what the need is, but also where the opportunities are. Uh, I'll just say thanks to Chesapeake Bay program to Tom and his team, to Noah, to the First Lady's office, uh, to my cabinet colleagues, uh, Secretary Dunn, uh, Secretary Tega, and, and McDonnell. Uh, always appreciate being, being with you. Uh, number two, uh, to the attendees, um, you know, a lot of great ideas are shared. And, and Tom has said this several times that it's now time for action, right? There's things that we need to do. Uh, we understand the problem. The only issue is how do you fund it? How do you structure that? How do you measure it? Uh, but nonetheless, we've got to do it, right? And, and figure these things out uh, and believe strongly that um, you know, there is a way here. We, we've got the public attention coming off COVID uh, that we've never had before. I think we should seize that moment and the momentum uh, to keep that uh, thrust and focus on the value of the environment, both in terms of its, its physical uh, uh, attributes and contributions to the quality of our life, but also our mental health, uh, the social aspects, the justice of who has access and who doesn't. Uh, and you know, that is part of, you know, again, that, that, that collective uh, challenge. So keeping those good ideas coming. Uh, mm -hmm. If you're like I am, you'll do your best thinking as, when you walk away, right? You'll reflect on someone's conversation. You'll see a connection. You'll think, well, what, what did they mean by that? And spawn this, this uh, inquiry that is so, so critical. But as we've learned in the summit, the connections we make between states, between programs, between our respective uh, professional and personal lives here is also critical. One of the uh, areas that we have focused on in the department that uh, again, it's uh, came up in our in our state report uh, discussion is the in, the inclusion of agriculture. You know, we we spend time talking about the environmental literacy, and uh, I would just uh, uh, challenge us all to think very comprehensively about that environment. Right? I think of the food system. Uh, I think of just our own sustainability from a production standpoint. You know, all of the expectations that we've got for our communities uh, that are, uh, you know, embedded in in uh, in the environmental discussion. Uh, a big part of that is our food system, and I think that as we think about our educational system and where and how we teach and how do we inspire, uh, how do we guide you know, young minds to the career pathways that was talked about in the green jobs. I would just ask that we think again, including food in the environment, in our natural resources, is all under this umbrella of uh, environmental uh, literacy. Uh, and then final uh, to the point that I think as we, we look forward here, uh, we really have got to uh, 
you know, find a way. Um, I realize how cumbersome state systems are, but you know, I know the work uh, that Tammy has done and, and here in Pennsylvania, and I think that is a, a wonderful model, is that there are so many good things happening, right? There are so many good things happening. There are so many people uh, who, are, uh, who have rediscovered the environment, uh, but also understand uh, the, uh, the imperatives that we have now on uh, the climate because of climate, uh, but also because of justice, right? And the intersection of those words, of those issues, uh, should cause all of us uh, to now put into action uh, what we do or to accelerate the action that we've taken uh, to address the issues of agriculture, food, the environment, uh, in a way that brings this together. Because in that intersection, I think, is where we find the solution, right? It's having folks understand the causes and consequences of eating, of the environment, our treatment of that environment, but also uh, the equity that is inherent in who has access to land and food in the environment uh, is all part of the work and why the summit is so important. So, uh, Tom, I will end where I began with a simple thank you. I mean, to you, the team, and to all who joined us today, uh, thank you for engaging. Thank you for uh, encouraging each of uh, us and each other, but also inspiring us uh, to know that the work that we're doing is critical um, and uh, is really can only be accomplished if we do that together. So thank you very much. Thank you, Secretary Redding. Uh, a great message. Let's, uh, let's take this home, reflect on it, sleep, get up tomorrow, and, and that's the time for action. Let's make it happen. Um, so thank you all for participating. Uh, we're looking forward to reconnecting um, and taking this work to the next level. Um, enjoy the rest of your afternoon. And, and once again, thanks for participating in the Mid-Atlantic Environmental Literacy Summit. Thank you all. Thank you.